Hello, Maria here, fourth dimension tarot. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to uh, another wonderful week. Okay, being told not to shuffle like that. Okay, I'm reading for the sign of Aries. Hmm, Aries. You're in, I feel like you're uh, seven of cups right now. You got a lot of options coming in. A lot of choices you're making. Big deals. Money tree coming into some money. I feel like maybe an inheritance or uh, maybe a um, stock has gone up for you. Something like you're looking and you're like shocked a little bit by the amount of whatever you're looking at. It's like a nice surprise. Bright ideas and investment. See, that's what I felt. It's an investment coming through. Whether you're, you may not be an investor. You're like, Maria, I don't have any investments. It might be in a relationship that you've invested in over the over a period of time. It could be a number of things. But I do feel like chips coming in. You know, ships coming in and your chips are coming in. So um, maybe you win at bingo. I don't know. It just is, a, is a, like, I feel like lottery winning. I hear a ding, ding, ding. So maybe you do go to the casino not sure but Aries this is a, a come up for sure your overall energy is uh, judgment in the reverse and the eight of uh, wands I feel like again your energy has been um, pretty pretty high energy uh, high vol volatile uh, up and down in and out lots of passion lots of maybe arguing you've had in your in your life this is like a, a a resting period. I don't feel like anything major is happening other than positive stuff. You got some positive stuff coming in. The eight of wands is the, maybe you're expecting communication from one person and it isn't happening. It's just not coming in. They're stagnant and it doesn't feel like judgment call has been occurred yet. Maybe you haven't made the decision yet. Maybe you're sitting in uh, the two of wands, two of pentacles, sitting on, like I said at the beginning of this, is you're, you have a lot of options. It's a seven of cups and you haven't made a decision on what you want. So no judgment call can be made um, on what you're investing in. Look at this. It's an investment again. Again, Eight of Cups, or excuse me, Eight of Pentacles is an investment. You're investing in yourself. Um, maybe this is um, as simple as you enjoying the, the seeds you've sown in your own self-care. Maybe that's part of it. It's Queen of, it's, nope, it's financial. <laughs> it could be, it could be also, um, it could also be self-love for uh, a number of you, but it, or and in in addition to the pre-empress queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles, it's the most you can get as an independent person. So male or female, this is the energy. You're coming into some money. Um, and I don't care if you have Aries in your chart, uh, it's fire sign and it's very passionate. And it's like, um, it's like, it's like when a tidal wave hits and it's in the middle of the night, like you wake up and you have money coming in. So maybe you own a company. This is a handful of you. Um, I feel like several of you do some online work, online business, selling stuff. And all of a sudden you have an, ex an increase in profit because um, whatever you're selling is picking up traction. That's part of it. Um, but it's, it's, it's surprising. But I feel like this is stagnant communication. So something you need to make a decision on is stagnant. You're not making it. You're, maybe I feel like you don't have enough information. It's a two of swords, two, two of cups, or excuse me, not two of cups. I don't feel like this is two of cups. I feel like this is two of swords, two of wands, and two of pentacles. You're juggling something. You don't have enough information. Let's figure out what that is. Tell me about these two cards of Aries. It's the ten of. <laughs> I love tarot, man. It's the it's the ten of pentacles. It's your wish fulfillment. You can't make a decision on your wish fulfillment. I feel like it might be a relationship, actually. Um, it might be with somebody in your past that you've just they may have come back and had a conversation. You're not sure what you want to do. You haven't made a decision. You don't have all the information. Like I'm getting choked up. Um, I feel like you're in a conservative position, holding the four of pentacles. Hold them back. Tell me more about this. It is wish fulfillment and you're waiting on this communication to occur. Teamwork it could be a work. It could be your wish fulfillment with the job, um, especially with the pentacles, um, a promotion, something you've been investing in. 
um, a brand new business that you've kicked off and started and now you're combining it with somebody else or you're trying to go into work with a third party, that sort of thing. Um, you're dropping, you've dropped and are dropping the burden. I don't know if it's a shared burden. You're coming out of a space of anxiety, so you might have even dropped a relationship. This is, again, reading for a lot of folks. This isn't a personal read. Whatever, yeah, this is uh, um, the foundation. You're dropping something that didn't have balance in the foundation. It didn't, and again, I'm reading for a handful of folks that it's relation, it's relational and it's also work. So maybe it's, um, I do feel like it's work related for a, hand folks, for a handful of folks. There's people here that are watching me that it was an unrequited, like you started investing more. Have you ever felt like you walked in the room and you're the smartest person there? That's kind of this energy, whether it's in a relationship or a work relationship, this was unrequited. Whatever energy you put in didn't match you. I feel like you left it, dropped your burdens, went on, and now you're coming into the fruitfulness of the energy you put in into the new, in the new thing. Maybe you severed your ties with somebody in a business line and you went on on your own. Maybe you got a new position and it's more bountiful, more plentiful, and you're reaping the financial rewards and making that change. Um, the last thing, you're, that's why it's in the eight, the eight of wands in the reverse, along with the 10 of wands in the upright, with the lack of temp, you know, the imbalance um, with this foundation is it just didn't hold water. It didn't, it's like, it was, a, it was like feathers. You can't really um, anchor <laughs> your boat in feathers. You know what I mean? That's kind of the vibe I have is you, you're like Maria, I, I'm smarter than this. I can't stay with a company that um, they can't see um, or I can't partner with or I can't, whether it's a relationship or a uh, work, your, your ethics, your beliefs, your um, intelligence won't let you sit on something that doesn't match your energy. Won't let you just um, not move. I guess that's the best way because you're investing a high level. You're, you're, uh, putting more in than they are, and that's unrequited, right? And so you're not going to stick it out. <laughs> yep, you're not in what I just said. I just said it. So it's four of pentacles in the reverse. You're not entertaining anything that isn't going to match your energy. You're just walking away from things that don't serve you. Um, also, that four, there's too many spirits. Um, there's, there's also a sense of you knowing your value. You've done some work on yourself, and you're knowing your worth, and you're moving forward. What about earrings? I have Hermit in the reverse. So you spent some time alone and you have discerned what you want, what you don't want. That's too many. I do have the two of swords I saw in the reverse. That's behind you, I feel. Um, Aries, I feel like you're also, you're like juggling a lot of commitments. You're juggling a lot of options. There's a ten of swords. You are totally walking away from something. So if somebody's coming towards you, um, whether it, there's a son and the emperor, like I just said, with the, with the king of swords, you might have two people coming towards you. Um, I feel like heavy on the, um, Aries Leo Sag, also heavy on the a Aquarius, um, Libra and, um, Virgo. I feel like also you're, you're struggling, I think right now with almost too many choices. You don't want to make the wrong choice. I feel like at the beginning of this read when I said you don't have all the information, I meant it. So it's almost like know your blessings, but you do know your blessings and you're just afraid to move on. And look at that, the sun. You've never been happier. You have nothing but options coming forward. Bomb the deck. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like it is uh, finally payout. So like you have put in a lot of work in these last several chapters with the emperor. You might be meeting somebody with a hierophant. Um, I do believe that you're walking away from, I do kind of feel like it's a past energy that you're not entertaining anymore because it didn't give you what you needed. I just saw the lovers in the reverse clarifying and validating for me that that is a closed chapter. The death card with the ace of swords and the knight of pentacles. You have a brand new I feel a venture coming ahead of you, um, which is going to spark through a communication, through a conversation. Ace of Swords can be on anything. It could be just somebody being transparent about what they want from you, what they need from you, their thoughts and ideas about a commitment, a partnership, a relationship, whether it be work related. Um, this is exciting. These are new chapters. These are new beginnings. I see, um, like if you went out and, okay, we're in the, at the very last quarter of the game of 2024. 
And I feel like several of you just threw away, <laughs> threw away your notebook and you're like, I'm starting early. I'm starting, I'm starting this chapter early because whatever you had in the last chapter, you let go of and you released. And I think that you're looking forward to your, your most exciting chapter coming forward. So I feel excited for you. Tell me about Aries. I have a brand new deck here. Clarify what's going on with Aries here. What's happening with Aries? I have the uh, King of Pentacles. That's your energy I feel coming through. I have the... Again, four of pentacles with the six of pentacles. You're not investing in anything. You're only going to entertain those things that match your energy, validating what I just said. And I do feel if you were in a spa uh, state of lack, you're no longer there. So I love it when spirit just comes and shows me exactly what I just said in the previous read and validates me. There's that ten of pentacles again. Same exact card as your overall energy from the first spread. And so I kind of get the sense that you might be experiencing, hold on for a second, a brand new chapter where you are entertaining um, like everything new. Um, you sat in judgment, Eight of Pentacles is investing in yourself, and the Fool is jumping in with that Page of Swords that I just said, with the Ace of Swords and the um, Temperance. Now, whatever wasn't lacking, or whatever was lacking balance is now completely ironed out with the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So I feel like you're investing in something new going forward, um, whether it be a relationship or a work um, but it's going to long standing because this is now balanced. You just knew you. I feel like you just kind of knew you. Um, for a handful of Aries, you may be meeting somebody new if you haven't already. I also feel like you are definitely interested in um, new opportunities, new relationships, commitments, contracts where you're using your skills, your talents, um, new blessings. And it, it, even if you own your own company, I think like you might be partnering with the third party. That's kind of the vibe I have. It might be a partner in financial. Um, it might be, um, I keep seeing um, like splitting up your business into parts or diversifying somehow. Maybe it's a financial business. Maybe you're opening up your own um, financial uh, practice. I don't know. I feel like there's money involved. I think that there's online business for a handful of you. Several of you are owning your own uh, company. And I think you had to make some hard decisions in this last chapter of what's best for you, whether it be several of you filed for divorce. It's just how it is. Several of you walked away from uh, companies that were not giving you your needs. Serious. Like you've been there a long time. You've invested a lot. And I see several of you just walking out and you are jumping in with the fool either into owning and starting your own company or possibly starting for a company that's already giving you a raise right off the bat. And you're feeling um, like you're in a, in a glow up kind of um, it's considered like you have enough for embed your own investments now. Several of you, I feel, are planning uh, to do things to your home. Um, I know that we're walking into the holiday season, but I feel like several of you are like doing some repair work to your home. I see somebody looking at water heaters online. I see several of you looking at cars online. You're getting ready to purchase a new car. Um, I see several of you looking at um, spring vacations. Right? Is that right? Okay. Maybe several of you are going on a cruise. I don't know. I'm not, but that, <laughs> not that I know of, unless y'all want to invite me. I'm not sure. Um, this is kind of the energy I have. Um, there's a handful of you too, Aries, that you might actually, I just got this. You might actually have a full time, but you're launching a hustle like I have. This is my hustle, right? I love my hustle. I love it some days more than my full time. But that being said, don't tell my employer, um, but that being said, I feel like the the come up is like going to shock you. You had to make some decisions recently that are scary and sketchy, but I feel like you're going into the best season. Like this is all beautiful stuff coming through. Um, and you've got a brand new beginning coming in. Can't even play with you. Aries, this is your reading for the week. Um, if you would like some more granular uh, deets on your personal story, feel free to go into the description box and the link below and feel free to schedule a, a time with me, a session with me. Lastly, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new content. And until next time, Aries, this is your reading. Love and light. Take care.